Hey everyone, it's Adam Ward. How are you? I'm going to go over the custom domain mapping feature uh, for the new Empower Network version 2.0 blogging platform. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly so you may have to pause if you miss something because uh, I don't want this video to be too long and we're going to go over a lot of information here. So the first thing you need to do is you need to log into your Empower Network back office, navigate to EmpowerNetwork.com, click the login button in the top right corner here um, and that will bring you to this screen. Go ahead and type your username and password in there and go ahead and click the green login and start blogging button. From there, we're going to go up into the top right corner here with your profile and you're going to drop this menu down and select view, edit, my blog. That's going to navigate you to your actual blog um, page, right? So you will see this, this uh, plus button if you're logged in. You won't see it if you're not logged in. So that's why I took you through that step first. You need to be logged in to access uh, uh, these, um, these controls. So you, what you want to do now is click on that plus button. It will drop down uh, some menu options here. So I'm going to focus on, let's say you just got your Empower Network blog um, started. You, you created your account and you want to map that to a custom domain name. So for this example, I'm going to use the example of a, a, a domain name that currently, maybe it's a WordPress installation that you have or a custom uh, designed website where you want to integrate uh, the Empower Network blogging platform into a blog page on that site. Okay. Uh, the second video that I'm going to go, uh, that I'm going to do is going to go over how to cre uh, create, um, you know, from scratch, right? Uh, create a blog from scratch and also um, just take a fresh domain name that has no host uh, and map your Empower Network blog uh, or a custom, an additional custom blog to that website. So for this example, you're going to see up here my Empower Network blog. That's probably the only thing that you're going to see up there. So, um, and you can see that it's bolded. That means that's, once you start adding other domains, whatever is bolded up here is the actual blog that you're in. So we're going to move over here to the custom domain button over here and click on that. So you can see that I've already created uh, a custom domain mapping. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this so you can see what you would see. And so you're going to go ahead and see this particular screen here and it's going to ask you what domain you plan on using. So whatever that domain is for you, you want to put it here. But keep in mind if, um, the, again, the second video is going to go over if it's a fresh domain and you just want to map this directly to the main root domain name, you know, www.yourdomainname.com. This lesson is going to show you how to create a subdomain within an existing uh, website. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the subdomain uh, and this could be called anything, right? You could, you could type blog dash, or I'm sorry, blog.yourdomain.com. Uh, but uh, I'm going to create empower.adamwardonline. So Adam Ward Online is my custom domain that I'm using. So you can see once I put that in here, it says it's available. Um, so when you click next, it's going to give you something called a C name, a C, a, a C name name and a C name value. So this is not so much tricky, it's just that you have to understand that it shows you that this is the whole uh, C name name. And when we go over into our DNS, I'm going to show you that all you really need when, you cre when you're creating a subdirectory is the first part of this, right? The actual subdirectory. Um, you will need the full C name value, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to uh, your host, your website host, where you where you either bought your domain name or whether you're hosting um, a number of domains with. So I'm with GoDaddy. So this is going to go over how it works with GoDaddy. It pretty much works the same way with every host. If this is not making sense to you and you need some extra help, go ahead and call the customer service uh, number for the particular um, domain host that you're using. So once you're logged in, uh, you wanna go up here to your name and then uh, click on visit my account. Uh, that's going to take you to this screen here and then the first selection here on domains you want to click this green button over here uh, that says launch. Once you've uh, come into your domains you want to pick the domain that you're using. We're using Adam Ward Online so I'm going to click that and that's going to bring you into this screen. You want to go ahead and click on DNS zone file tab right here okay and then you want to click on the edit button. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into this C name section and I've already added it here. You can see where it says empower as far as the, uh, the C name name um, and the uh, C name value is right here. So if you're doing this for the first time, what you want to do is you want to click this little button down here called quick add and then go ahead and put in the subdirectory. Now again, if you have um, you know, uh, your domain name.com uh, and you want the blog to be uh, represented on blog.yourdomainname.com, then this is where you would type the word blog in, right? But I called it empower, and it's all going to come together in a sec when you see it. So um, what we want to do now is go back over to your, um, your Empower Network blog and grab that C name value. Don't grab the period on the end here. It won't work with that period. You see that period right there? Don't grab that. Okay, so just grab the, the, the full C name value, go back over to your DNS manager, pop that in there. Okay, so once you've got that in there, you want to go ahead and click that save zone file. I'm going to get rid of this because it's already there, but I'll click that button anyway. Okay, um, I clicked on that pretty quick, but it says it can take up to an hour uh, to work. So um, be patient if it doesn't work right away. So once that's done and you've waited, uh, you can go back and try it right away. And what I mean by trying it is clicking this blue button back in your Power Network blog, verify custom domain. So if you click that button and it says it's not ready yet, uh, you know, go and uh, take a break, do something else and come back in uh, you know, uh, 20 to 30 minutes and it should be done. It can take up to an hour. Click verify custom domain and then it will say domain verified. So what that means now is the Empower Network site, which is adamward.empowernetwork.com, is now mapped. It's not simply a redirect, it's actually mapped to empower.adamwardonline.com. So I wanna show you what that looks like before, the, uh, before we end this, um, this tutorial. Um, so if we go to adamwardonline.com, I'm gonna illustrate and this is for someone, again, who has either uh, an existing WordPress installation and they want to keep, you know, whatever content they have up there and add the Empower Network blog, or you're uh, someone with a business and you already have, you know, maybe a professionally designed website and you haven't really utilized uh, the blogging feature or you don't have, um, you know, ability to blog on the website. It wasn't built in there for you. So um, I've created, and this is a regular WordPress installation here, I've created a tab that says Empower Network, and that is um, the URL link on that is empower.adamward.online. And you'll see that come up in the, um, um, the browser bar here. You can see that. So it's mapped, and this is my actual Empower Network block. Okay? So it's that simple. So now everything is mapped. So once, like for instance, this blog that I just did today, if I click on that blog, it will take me uh, specifically to that blog post, right? Um, but look what happened up here. Okay, since it's mapped, it maintains the integrity of the, uh, the custom domain, and it also gives you a slash blog subdirectory and a slash um, uh, subject title right in the URL which helps with SEO. So it's a true um, mapping of the, uh, of the blog page itself. It's not a redirect or a mask or anything like that. That's why this is so powerful. So I hope that helps. Good luck and uh, I'll see you on the next video.